Hello everyone. It's early morning here in Florida. Nice August going into September. Here's my 1978 Westphalia camper. That is a two-year restoration job completely restored from the ground up. This vehicle is completely disassembled and reassembled. The entire vehicle was media blasted. Any rust or bad metal was completely removed. There's, video, there's uh, individual photos of this on the site. This currently is listed for sale. It's by owner, but it's nationalvehicle.com that's handling it. And they also have a auction site with eBay that this thing can be seen on. The entire restoration in still photos can be seen on the national video, uh, nationalvehicle.com site. Okay, going around to the side here, the uh, headlights, by the way, are halo headlights. Uh, you have a daytime halo that goes around the LED system. And when it's on, the halo is on. When you turn the headlight portion of it, the halos go off and the headlights are on. Everything is in its original position, such as the antenna here. There's a Sony, or I mean a Pioneer stereo system in there. You have custom 15 inch wheels versus 14 inch originals. Uh, these are brand new. There's only 3,700 miles on the vehicle. I'm going to open the door, show you the interior here. Sun's coming up. This is the AC unit. This is from Gilmore Products, company out in, uh, you see, their vo uh, I think it's Ayers, um, Las Vegas, Nevada. And the AC system has four. AC vents and, and cools the entire interior here very nicely. The uh, controls are located in where the old cigarette lighter was. Um, the stereo system here is a Pioneer. When you turn the ignition in, the screen pops up. It has um, YouTube, I mean, uh, Bluetooth connection, so it connects to your phone. It also is a video player. Um, it's got every bell and whistle you get in there. Uh, the seats are from a 987 Vanagon. Um, I custom had them upholstered by a company in Benel, Florida. The plastic barrier seat between the front and the rear is meant to keep the AC cool up front. When you're driving, especially in Florida's 95 day heat every single day. Um, the top on here, which I'm going to close this door partially here, or fully here. Excuse, this is a one-man operation here doing this. Okay, stepping back here a little bit. You have your Fiamma 45S uh, extendable awning. And that goes, it's eight, eight feet long by eight feet out. It's not fully extended right now. The legs can either be attached to the van or be placed on the ground. Walk it up here to the door and you'll see how nice this operates. It opens just as old as brand spanking new from the factory. Here's your upholstery in the rear. This makes into a double bed, the seat pulls out. It's also got the seat belts and underneath the seat is storage and also a diesel heating system. Uh, the two vents there provide 55k heat. Um, the cabinet in the back there, I see the door is open. The LED lighting is throughout the entire van. The LED above and the top is also insulated. That keeps the hot sun from beating down on you when you have the camper up or down. And you can see the countertops here are Corian, DuPont Corian. The original cabinets have been all relaminated. And in the corner here that with the door open here you can see the uh, ball bearing slide outs that are in the place of the original um, place that you would store your tire. And looking underneath the cabinet here, that white device towards the back under the sink is what they call a suitor valve. That eliminates the need to have the vent going out the side of the van. You have a five gallon tank in here for water. Your original 110 plug-in goes there. 
and uh, I also have USB port hanging down there that's supposed to be remounted but I have them throughout the van um, there's two connections in each one one is a fast charger and one's a little slower charger the jealousy windows here as you see have all been cleaned polished and everything by me it took many hours to do that there's two years in this in this uh, entire restoration Okay, going to the back here, I've got the gate open and up above and back up a little bit you can see the solar panels. They're flat geo solar panels, 100 watts each. They're controlled by a Victron Connect solar charge unit, which I'll show you in the hole here, is the Victron unit. That completely is automatic and it works with your cell phone your Android or Apple cell phone and you can see immediately what you're putting out power wise right now in the sunlight she's probably putting out over 20 some volts you can see your trailer hitch here which I had custom made the one that you could order out of the box would not fit because of the way I have the muffler mounted so this was custom made welded and it's a 2600 pound rating walking around to the side here again you can see all the cabinets are original they're laminated uh, kept it as much original but I upgraded it and make it a lot nighter one thing I'll point out here too is underneath the um, the bed here I have uh, kind of like a space like insulation and sound deadening system there's also sound deadening throughout the van and all the exterior walls have been insulated here's a look down the side of the van you can see your 110 plug-in, original place where it would be, and no vent coming out the side. See your wheels down here, coming up to the driver's compartment front. Get rid of the buzzer here. Pull that out a little bit. And everything is spotless clean. The seats in here are exceptionally com comfortable there are no springs in them the original springy seats I didn't like them and I got these seats are foam and they're out of an 87 and all brand new foam and the upholstery is a real tough transit type upholstery that you would see in a commercial bus but it's very nice and I covered the vinyl top here it was was vinyl to make it match here that was a lot of work to do that looking at the ceiling the uh, headliner in here You've got a LED lights here. You got a nice place here to put your sunglasses, and um, because of the clear barrier, you can you can see all the way to the back. And the rear defrosters, the wires in there are all brand new. So everything works on here. And this is going around to the front, and to close this out, look this up under NationalVehicle.com and eBay auction that they're listed it under Westphalia Camper 1978 this could be yours go to the auction